there was one place on this earth that was absolutely perfect, and it was a garden. The Garden of Eden. Very good, the Garden of Eden. And the story that we're going to hear about in the Garden of Eden comes from the book of Genesis. In the what? Bible. The Bible. Very good. In the Bible. For those Christians who believe their Bible is the Word of God, the literal truth, one man is held up as the Antichrist, Charles Darwin, for leading millions of Christians astray with a very different account of creation. Evolution by natural selection. It seems outrageous to them that Darwin was laid to rest here in Westminster Abbey, the highest honor the Church of England could offer. I cannot remember that I have ever published a word directly against religion or the clergy. because of our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and God's Word, the Holy Bible. Amen? Amen. Amen. Evolution, I believe, is a way for the atheist to devise a method of how we got here, and it wasn't by God, and it was all by accident. If the theory of evolution is a fact, this Bible must be false, and we're all stupid ignoramuses. My friend, it takes more faith to believe in a theory, an unproven theory, than to believe in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Amen. I think one of the major questions we run into today is, uh, is evolution really compatible uh, with biblical Christianity? And I believe the answer is just unquestionably no. There's no dispute. God has determined what is true, and he's told us what he did in Genesis, the order in which he did it, and he expects us to believe it. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And God said, let there be light. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that has life. And God said, let us make man in our image Male and female, he created them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. According to the latest Gallup poll, 46% of Americans believe the Genesis account of creation. All right, now look right out here at me and smile. 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 Now look up at the dinosaurs in that window. Look afraid. Look very afraid. The Lord God planted a garden in Eden. At no time in the past 300 years has there been such a concerted effort in support of a literal interpretation of the Bible, and especially the Genesis account of Adam and Eve and a six-day creation. The Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make a helper fit for him. And he took one of his ribs and made it into a woman. Creationism is the fastest growing branch of Christianity, not just here in the United States, but worldwide. I choose to believe that the Bible is the Word of God and it contains first and second hand witnesses of these events, so I can believe it so much more than I can believe the secular scientists who weren't there to see these things. If somewhere within the Bible, I were to find a passage that said two plus two equals five, I wouldn't question what I'm reading in the Bible. I would believe it 
accept it as true, and then do my best to work it out and to understand it. I can't even fathom coming from this little thing that crawled on the ground to apes to being human. It, it just doesn't, it, it sounds crazy to me. When you have generations of people being taught that evolution's fact, and therefore Genesis is not true and you have to reinterpret the Bible, why shouldn't we do what we want to do? There's no absolutes, therefore we determine what is right and what is wrong. In the Creation Museum, when we walk into Graffiti Alley, it's to represent a culture where one has taken away a foundation and absolutes. So why not abort a human being? After all, get rid of spare cats, get rid of spare kids, what is the difference? Why shouldn't marriage be two men, two women, or whatever you want to make it to be? I think that Darwin knew. I think he knew. What I'm teaching is going to have a profound effect on mankind. And it's the kind of effect that moves people away from trusting God, trusting the God of the Bible, into trusting man and the words of man. And he made a decision. I'm going on with this. Considering how fiercely I've been attacked, it seems ludicrous that I once intended to be a clergyman. I did not then in the least doubt the strict and literal truth of every word in the Bible, and soon persuaded myself that our creed must be fully accepted. The blood of Christ. I don't believe he did believe all of the Bible. He didn't really believe in six literal days of creation. You assume those days of creation are ordinary days, and you take those genealogies in the Bible, you can only get approximately 6,000 years. You can't get millions of years. If the idea of millions of years hadn't been popularized in the late 18th, early 19th century, Darwin could never have popularized his ideas of evolution. No person of the first rank in professional geological circles in Darwin's day, to whom he was exposed, believed that the Earth was very, very recently created uh, with life on Earth in six 24-hour days. You have to think about the 19th century as a period of enormous digging. If you think about the canal systems, if you think about the building work, the laying of gas, the building of railways, this is a landscape that was being dug up. Everywhere, fossils were coming up. Really extraordinary things like mammoths and plesiosaurs. That gave evidence of very, very early life forms in the very lowest rock strata, which people were now beginning to understand as being deep time. Um, but also an enormous diversity of species that, ha that was no longer represented on the Earth at all. So enormous numbers of extinct species. Um, and people had to make sense of that. And you couldn't make sense of it within the time frame that the church was promoting. Darwin didn't work with any geologist who doubted that the Earth was unimaginably old and full of the relics of extinct animals. <laughs> 